Okay, getting ready to go to my sister's house and hang out with my nephews. Watch the, uh, what game? OKC Warriors game tonight. It's Sunday, as well as watch Game of Thrones. I'm a Game of Thrones person. I never thought I would be a Game of Thrones type of individual, but guys, it's nuts. It just blows my mind. Every episode I'm sitting there, I'm like, what are they gonna do next? And they always, they bring it every time. Something crazy. If you haven't seen it, check it out on HBO. But I'm getting ready to go to their house and I have to pack some food because it's only 5.30, so I'll have a, another couple of meals still. And I wanna make sure that I'm getting the, the right calories that I wanna eat. So there it is, all packed up. It's all insulated on the inside. So I'm gonna go do that. And I do have morning cardio tomorrow, so it's gonna be a little rough. Cause usually when I have morning cardio, I try to go to bed by 11.30. It doesn't usually happen. I don't usually fall asleep till like 12. So that means I'm getting like six and a half hours of sleep. It's not always the best. So like I said, I try to go to sleep at like 11.30. Let's fall asleep. They literally live so close to Kings Island that you can hear the roller coasters. It's right over there. That's where Kings Island's at. And it's a beautiful day out. So, I like some Kings Island. I go there from time to time. I usually get the Gold Pass though because it's just cheaper. Like if you go more than once or twice, you've already paid for the Gold Pass. So it just makes sense. Now I'm eating my meal. I was working on a vlog video, a different one. So here's the meal I'm about to eat. It is half a cup to a cup of peppers, half a cup to a cup of mushrooms, and eight ounces of chicken. Pretty simple, guys. I'm gonna eat this, go work on another video, and then it's gonna be about time for the OKC Thunder game, as well as Game of Thrones. How to choose. Ugh. Cardio done. Oh. It's not always the most fun waking up at 6.30, but if you can do it, it feels really good once you're done with the workout. You know, it takes me like five, five minutes to, once I get to the gym, to get warmed up and finally get in the, all right, workout mode. I just bumped up my cardio a little bit. So I'm doing 30 minutes now instead of the 20 to 25 minutes. So we're gonna do this for a week to a week and a half, not really changing any of the food and see what happens. See how my body reacts. I should start to shred some of that additional excess unwanted fat around my little belly. Um, so that is the goal there. But now it's time to go to work. There is my breakfast. I have one egg, half a cup of egg whites, three small tomatoes with salt and pepper, a little less than half a cup of oatmeal with six strawberries. About to eat some lunch, so let's see what it is. 
I have this week's prepped meal, which is eight ounces of chicken with some Italian seasoning or marinade, half a cup to a cup of mushrooms, and half a cup to a cup of peppers. And then also on my break, I'm going to, I just finished this book. It's called The Power of Habit. I would check it out. It talks about why we do what we do, basically, and how to break some bad habits and create new habits. Then I'm going to start reading or continue reading People Over Profit. I'm honestly not a huge reader, but I understand the reasons of reading more. No. So I've started to read more books about our habits, business, money, success, all those types of things. That's what I like to read, and that's what these books are about. So. I'll let you know how I like them, or at least this new one. What's up? So, I just left the vitamin shop, had to get some creatine. That sounds terrible. But I had to get some creatine, and... I was mixing my supplements in the trunk outside of vitamin shop getting some looks I don't know what people think they think I'm doing some kind of dealing out of my trunk I don't know they were giving me weird looks it's not appreciated but anyways got my pre-workout now and we're on the way to the gym to hit a push day so it's chest, shoulders, triceps, push. That's all I got. All right, starting off this push day, I begin with seated shoulder press on the Smith machine. Today, I really focused on four sets of seven reps. So no drop sets, no supersets. It was, you know, just straight sets basically then i moved on to a chest press machine and again i did four sets of seven reps i'm not sure if your gym will have this exact machine i prefer the ones where you actually have to load the weights up on it but i had to work with what i had then i go to a seated shoulder press machine again four sets seven to ten reps it's just putting your body at a slightly different angle you can grab the machine from several different points, mixing up your grips, or your grip placement is going to help fully develop those shoulders. Then I moved on to the pec deck or the pec fly machine and did four sets of seven reps. I make sure my back is pressed up against the machine. I have my chest pushed out and I'm focusing on that, that squeeze. Then I moved on to seated side lateral raises with the dumbbells. I don't generally hit these that heavy because they do put a lot of strain on the shoulders, but I wanted to start building up those shoulders a little bit more and I went a little bit heavier. So again, four sets, seven reps. Now I'm working on the rear delts. So I'm on a rear delt machine or a fly machine and I'm trying to keep my elbows up and drive them back and out and it's gonna hit your rear delts. Also, you can see I'm rocking a water jug fitness stringer. If you want yourself one, go to the online store. I'll put a link in the description and check them out. I love the stringers now. Then again, this is another move. I've only done it a few times, but it's for the rear delts. It's only a 40 pound weight and I did 10 reps of this. So four sets of 10 reps. The last workout is a floor press. And I did it on the Smith machine, but what you're gonna do is it's basically a bench press, but you're doing it on the floor, so your elbows are gonna hit the floor, and then you're gonna drive up. But then that was the end of this workout. I actually had to do a voiceover over this clip because the audio was very muffled. It must have been something with the car mount, but I'm just talking about, I got my post-workout shake. I'm about to head to my sister's house and watch the game. Also, I didn't hit triceps in this push workout because I hit my triceps a few days prior 
and I didn't want to train them again. So again, I just did chest and shoulders for this workout and did not do the triceps. I'll get the triceps in another workout. But that's gonna wrap it up for this commentary and I'll let you get back to the video. New video is up. Here is my dinner. I have one cup of lettuce and two cups of spinach with four tomatoes and I'll use some ranch. Not a whole lot of it though because it's not the healthiest. Probably just use the two tablespoons. Then I have eight ounces of red potatoes and eight ounces of grilled chicken. I'm just gonna throw these in the microwave. Eat and then watch the Cavs game, which we currently have paused at the moment. <sighs> and that will be my night. Just got done watching the Cavs game. I don't want to talk about it because it's only going to frustrate me. Just going to leave it at that. Instead of the cottage cheese and the blueberries or the raspberries, whatever fruit I wanted, I'm doing the casein shake. So I have a cookies and cream, awesome nutrition, casein shake instead of the cottage cheese. The reason for it is it's 11.30 at night. If I eat the cottage cheese right now with the blueberries or the raspberries, it's gonna be more carbs and it'll most likely keep me up. Now I know it's very little carbs, but it'll still keep me up. Whereas this Optimal Nutrition casein shake, it only has like two, maybe four carbs, but you know, 30 grams of protein, something like that. That's what I'm looking for. It's gonna be slow release, slow digesting, so throughout the night, provide my body with the nutrients I need while I sleep. That is going to wrap it up for this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this. And that's all I have. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed.